How to identify all mobile IC episode 2. How to identify audio or sound IC in mobile. The sound or audio IC as some of us call it, is found in the power section of a mobile phone. You can easily identify it because of its two sounds filter resistors or coils. But you should know this. In most phones the sound IC is integrated with the CPU. Display or graphic IC. Display or graphic IC is an integrated chip that provides an interface between a microprocessor, MPU or microcontroller, MCU, system and a liquid crystal display, LCD. The image that you are seeing on mobile screen are hired by the display IC. How to identify display or graphic IC in mobile? The display IC is found in the power section of a mobile phone specifically near the backlight section which we will talk about later in this video or around the display connector. You can identify it because of its glassy surface. Well, the display IC is integrated with the CPU in most phones. Only 30% of phones has their display IC departed from their CPU. Power IC or PMU Power IC, the problem resulting from the Power IC can be very tormenting and can even give you high blood pressure especially when dealing with an expensive phone you vowed to conquer. The Power IC is an important microchip found in the power section of all mobile phones. The power integrated circuit is the component that distributes required value or measure of current voltage to all other parts of the mobile phone. PMU, the power management unit or power IC is an IC chip responsible for power discharge to some parts of your phone. Besides its presence in the phone printed circuit board, your phone needs it to turn on. More so, this chip is a small fragment, but you can get it replaced when damaged. How to identify power IC? It is mostly protected by a silver plated metal. You will observe that the power IC normally have so many capacitors, resistors, and a good number of coils etc of varied shapes and sizes which helps in proper and accurate distribution of current needed for healthy functioning. If the power IC is bad, that is bad market and the beginning of sorrow, the phone will go dead and only God can help you in this battle if you don't know what to do. A specific problem to encounter when you have a damaged PMU is that your phone will not turn on anymore. If you want to repair your phone IC, check your power management unit to verify the fault. Although the mobile power IC repair cost might be huge, opt for a power IC chip replacement if the PMU is faulty. I will keep some links in this video description that will show you how you can easily identify a faulty power IC, CPU and EMC so that you can watch when you are done watching this video. Charging IC Charging IC, this IC is found in the power section of a mobile phone. It receives electrical charges from the phone charger to charge the phone battery which is passed on to power IC after passing through the power and zener diode, resistors and capacitors for further distribution to other parts in specific values. If the charging IC is bad the phone will not charge properly or may not even charge at all even if you speak in tongues. If the phone's charging IC gets a short circuit, the phone won't be able to power. Some shorted diode in the power section can also cause power problem when they get shorted as well. Sometimes, charging problem could be so complicated that you might start thinking that you have been sinning all your life and God is pushing you for that. How to identify charging IC? Mobile charging IC is found in the power section of a mobile, in most phones it is similar to power IC. It has one or two big coils with some few capacitors around it, but not as much as that of power IC. Here is the easiest way to identify charging IC. The IC beside R22 resistor is the charging IC. EMC, RAM, or memory IC. RAM, the random access memory is mainly responsible for sending and receiving operating system command while the phone is being operated. It can be found in the power section. The RAM IC can be affected by a hard fall on the floor, or when it's being heat hard by a real RAM you previously thought of, or short or water damage etc. The RAM can go dead if the problem persists and nothing is done about it. Android Automotive Internal Storage uses an embedded multimedia card, eMMC, with thousands of erase slash write cycles. If the eMMC fails, the system can become unusable. So now you know what AMC is in mobile phones.
Well I think everyone knows how a flash drive works. How to identify MC or memory IC. This huge IC is very easy to identify because of its size like that of the CPU. It can be found in the power section or in the processing section like in those mobiles that have four sections instead of three. This IC also referred to as EEPROM, memory IC, ROM and RAM. When flashing of software is done on a phone, this is the software hardware component that accommodates the system software. A faulty flash IC results mainly in software problem or power problems. CPU Just like the computers, phones too do have CPU known as central process unit. CPU, the central processing unit, also known as the processor, runs the logic and operations required by your phone operating system. CPU delivers commands for your phone activities on its integrated circuit where they are domiciled. This IC controls and coordinates program instructions and all other activities that goes on while the phone is being operated just like how you have got a brain in your head that determines how every other thing goes on. If the CPU gets shorted or affected by a hard fall from the top of Mount Kilimanjaro or Everest, or a water damage while attempting to cross the Red Sea, or corrupted software file it may result in a dead phone. The CPU is also referred to as RAP, UPP or MAD IC, oh. But don't get it twisted, I'm not talking about insanity here, but something related to your brain anyway. How to identify CPU? The CPU can be found in black color. The CPU is unique in its size in most cases, as it appears to be the largest IC chip on the PCB like an elephant is in the forest. Just like every other crucial ICs, the CPU is protected with a silver-coated iron plate so that its life can be free from the troubles and struggles of this world. RF or Network IC RF, Network or WTR as some of us call it. I think you can know the functions of this by IC just by hearing its name. Well, that 1T stopped me from telling you how Network or RF IC operates. While this IC is controlled by the CPU it works as both transmitter and receiver, or the world of signals which makes user communication possible. When this component is faulty, network will not be stable or strong and can result in power problem when the IC is shorted. How to identify RF or network IC? RF signal processor or network IC as it is called, can be found in the network section on a mobile PCB. You can easily identify this IC because it has so many tiny whitish resistors around it. All these resistors include fuse resistors, filter resistors, and package resistors. After you are done watching this video, check in the video description, you will see a video that will help you on how to identify types of resistors in mobile. Power amplifier or P.F.O. This component is responsible for filtering, amplifying and selecting the country home network of a mobile phone, e.g. MTN, Airtel, Glow etc. When the power amplifier is faulty, a network problem will also surface, and calls will be difficult or impossible due to network problem. When this problem happens, replace the IC or get ready for the next MP3 or iPod device in your hands. How to identify PFO? This component is also found in the network section of a mobile phone. It is the last IC that passes and amplify network signals such as 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G from the antenna. Most technicians don't know about this PFO IC. Well now you target that IC when troubleshooting network faults in mobile. I have solved so many network faults by just changing the PFO IC. 26 MHz Crystal Oscillator it is also known as the network crystal. This component creates the frequency that makes an outgoing call possible when a user is engaged on the order end. When this component is faulty, one won't be able to make a call and network also will not be available, and then your phone becomes an MP3 player or iPod. When it is shorted you can experience a dead phone situation too. How to identify 26 MHz crystal oscillator? Well, well, this IC, it is found around the PFO in the network section. You will observe that this component is mostly shiny and has metallic makeup. 
Here I must also remind you that any PCB of a mobile phone is divided into three sections namely, 1, network section, 2, power section, and 3, which is the processing section. How do you know phone IC is damaged? The phone IC is complicated to know if it is damaged. However, there are few ways to identify a damaged IC in your phone. Burnt or leaked IC. An integrated circuit that is burnt or has a leaked spot is damaged. Making a close observation on every side of the IC enables you to spot a damaged area. The burnt integrated circuit can no longer work on your phone. Heat condition. Can you discern the heat status of your phone IC? If there is a heat contrast with a closely related IC, you have got a damaged IC. Damaged phone IC heats up unnecessarily when supplied with voltage. Open circuit. An open circuit is an electrical circuit that is not complete. If you have an open phone IC at some end or point, your phone circuit is damaged. This opening creates a breach in the phone IC.